In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the center mark tool that's located on the dimension toolbar to place center marks on this circle and this arc. Select the center mark tool, select the edge of the circle, and you'll see it puts a little mark indicating where the center mark is. If I select the tool again and pick on this arc, it will identify where the center of that arc is. Now that's all fine except this style of center mark is really not very good for uh, dimensioning a mechanical drawing. So I'm going to select both of those and erase them out. And next I'm going to go open my dimension style manager by picking on the dimension style icon right here. And the current style is called the current dimension style is called standard. I'm going to modify that style. And uh, to modify it, I'm going to select the Symbols and Arrows tab. And then down here where it says Center Marks, I'm going to change that from Mark, which is what's giving me this style, to Line. And you can see when I pick Line, that up here in my window it shows me a Center Mark that has the lines that extend out from it, which is what I would rather have. And I want to point out this .09 setting. Uh, that's the distance that this center line will extend past the edges of the circle or the arc is 0.09 and uh, that also controls in here the size of the mark that it makes and I'll show you that in just a second so I'm going to select OK and close and so those settings are in place so now when I pick the center mark icon and select the circle you can see that I get a full center mark if I select the icon again and select uh, this arc, I will get a full uh, center mark. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, I want to show you something else about this. The distance from the quadrant to the end of that line is 0 0.09. And the distance from the end of this line to the center right here is 0 0.09. And from the center mark to this end point over here is 0 0.09. So the total length of these marks that identify the center of the circle are 0.18 because it's 0.09 on either side of the line. I'm going to scroll out a little bit. I'm going to delete both of those out <clears throat> and show you that you can also get center marks by selecting the diameter icon. So I'm going to click on the diameter tool and select the circle and then place my dimension where I want it to be and whatever is set for the mark style in the dimension style manager is what I will get when I use the diameter tool and the same is true if I choose the radius tool and select on this arc and identify the radius it also puts a full center mark in when I do that 